Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles. Welcome to my channel. I'm here today to share with you a thrift store haul. I went to the thrift store last weekend and I hit the honey hole again. I couldn't resist. I went to the same place that had the baskets with the discounted jewelry. And also I kind of scoured the counters and I scoured the racks. I went first thing in the morning and there was a line to get in. Uh, but yeah, of course I went back. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise Nola Collectibles. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay. My username there is also Nola Collectibles. I'm mostly a jewelry enthusiast. I do thread up unboxings, shop Goodwill unboxings, Good Goodwill blue box unboxings, uh, haul, jewelry hauls, thrift store hauls, estate sale hauls, all under the umbrella of jewelry because I'm a jewelry enthusiast and I love collecting and selling and sharing jewelry with you guys. So that's that's the long the long intro there. You got the whole spiel. Let's get right into it. And so I'll tell you, like with some of these items, I purchase it because I like it. Sometimes I purchase it because um, I recognize it or I recognize value, resale value, uh, whatever might be the case. It's working from gut and also <laughs> working from a sales perspective just to think about what resale value might look like. So, and I don't know everything. We can't know everything. We're always learning. So there's always education that I do enjoy in researching a lot of these pieces and learning more about it. So one of the first pieces that I picked up here was this little cuff. And I thought that this was really, really sweet. It's kind of got that hand hammered like artisan look to it. And it has these flowers in it, two-tone. And inside of the cuff, there was all of this stuff. It says, you know, Narcissus, December, Faithfulness, um, Respect, Modesty. So I assume that this was some kind of like um, piece of jewelry for people born in the month of December and that this was possibly the official flower for the month of December. Regardless, I did look this up. I think it's, um, I just thought it was very sweet. And I want to say I paid about $3 for this cuff. Just stood out to me because it appeared nicely made and I enjoyed kind of like all of the sentiment that it had right there inside of the cuff. I just thought it was a cute piece of jewelry. So I got that that guy. I picked up this um, Florenza brooch. I have a really difficult time resisting Florenza. <laughs> I just like love the aesthetic of Florenza jewelry so much. And uh, this one I did, you know, it, I paid half price for it was $3. And you can see with Florenza, they have like a very almost like 3D effect with a lot of their jewelry. This one is domed, so it definitely has that like raised profile to it. It is unfortunately like missing a couple of little of these like milk glass stones. And I was hoping that I could be able to repair this in some way and that this might likely go into my personal collection rather than me like reselling this. So again, I just have a soft spot for Florenza. I I really can't leave it. I didn't want to leave it in the thrift store. <laughs> but $3, it came home with me and I thought that this was just really cute and different. Like it, it does have kind of like a very like milk glass type of effect to it. Uh, it almost looks like it's spray painted, which which I thought was interesting too, because it kind of gives it like a little bit of like a, a weathered look to it, almost like that shabby chic aesthetic, which I know it's not, but you know what I'm saying here. Uh, it does kind of give that with a little bit of the gold peeking through there. So I picked up that guy. I got this shield. You know me, I do love like herald jewelry and like royal and coat of arms types of jewelry i don't know why I'm, I, again it's just something i gravitate towards and i like this piece a whole lot and it's just this enamel kind of like shield uh with the red and the yellow and this one i looked on the back and it did have a brand on the back uh pisces so i was not familiar with that brand but again this one so this one was two dollars so it was really really inexpensive and again it just Kind of thought it was just cool looking and not something that I necessarily wanted to like leave behind at the thrift store. So I picked up that guy. I think I did look it up. I didn't think it had like huge resale value. But again, I just thought it was an interesting piece of jewelry. So I snagged it. I got for four dollars I got these sterling silver carnelian earrings so these were in the case and I just thought they were very pretty and at a great price and so they have kind of like a french wire hook on these and a uh, nice cabochon carnelian cabochons and so yeah just a really pretty kind of simple looking pair of earrings with a nice color kind of like on the cabochon there with the carnelian so I, I thought those were a great pair of earrings so I picked those up as well. I'm trying to think where I should go next. Okay, so this guy, 
teeny, 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 tiny. This was in one of the baskets with the 50 and the 70% off, 75% off. And um, he was in there. I mean, look at him. He was at the top. He's very small. He was at the bottom of the basket. Price 99 cents on one end and 2 dollars on the other. So she gave it to me for the 99 cents. And I looked at this and I did recognize this kind of like immediately. And this is a designer named um, Renee Goin. And the cicada, I don't know if you know, is kind of like the official mascot of southern France. Um, if you go to like Marseille and Aix-en-Provence and Provence in France, uh, you will find cicadas everywhere. So the cicadas, like you'll, there's sconces and there's ceramics and there's jewelry and the cicada is just everywhere. And it's like a French lore about the cicada coming into the, the cicadas coming into town to wake people up, but then them finding that <laughs> had the opposite effect uh, because the lull of the cicadas put everyone back to sleep. So again, I think it was really, really sweet. I like the open work design on this. Some of these pieces by Renee go in go for a lot of money, the larger ones usually. But I mean, this like this little dude right here, probably about $40 um, at resale. So again, I just like what the, you know, the symbolism stands for. And I like, you know, the, you know, that's so closely uh, tied to the South of France. And I, I think it was a really unique uh, design. And I like bug jewelry, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I do, I find bug jewelry intriguing. I like spiders sometimes and, um, you know, just any kind of bugs, cicadas, bees, flies, that type of stuff. It's just different. Uh, so yeah, um, this was also in the 50% off and this was a dollar 50 and, um, I picked this up. This is actually a keychain, and it's a brass keychain, and it's depicting, um, some Apollo rider here, or maybe it's cricket. Um, but it did have a hallmark right here. And like I said, it was $2.99 and it's, uh, I just thought it was like kind of like interesting and, and very heavy and it just has some made in Argentina. So, um, Argentinian there, I'm going to assume that that is polo. Yes. I'm going to say it's polo cause I think there's big polo teams in Argentina. Um, but yeah, I don't know, just kind of cool. I like that it looked, had this horse bit look to it. I like that it was brass. It felt very heavy and well-made and, and just different. Not something you tend to see kind of like every day. So pick up that guy. This one, I don't know, this one I kind of had like a little bit of second thoughts on, but this was on, this was 50% off. So it was $3. So how much regrets could I have if I'm picking things up for like literally $3? So, cause I'm like, I looked at it and I'm like, okay, it's like a wrapped, polished, tumbled amethyst stone, but it does have this really huge, nice, substantial sterling silver bail on it. And it is marked. I actually did bring my magnet to the um, thrift store this time. So I tested my metals as I was looking and, and browsing just to make sure that everything that I was buying, if I needed it, I, I clip it onto my purse. I have a little tiny one. Um, that I can check it if need be. So this guy, yeah, so he was $3 and I just kind of like picked him up because uh, I thought that the bail was very pretty. And I think, you know, this would look nice probably on a string of pearls. Like since the bail is so large, you could probably get this uh, over like a, a medium sized pearl necklace. And I think that would be very pretty. So yeah, just this little um, sterling silver tumbled amethyst pendant. Gonna go over here next. These dudes right here, and I think these were in the 50% um, off bag as well. And so for four dollars, this is a little sterling silver and amber pair of earrings. I like that it kind of looks like little leaves and has like that very kind of like organic look to it. And and yeah, so it has you know like the different shades of amber there. And um, yeah, just thought they were cute and just like a great, 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 great price. I, I just can't, you know, I can't walk away from it. So these little amber earrings too, those little like leaves. And then speaking of amber, you want to see something that I got, which was a huge deal. I was very excited about. Uh, I got this huge chunk of amber on this huge sterling silver setting and I mean, it looks like kind of cherry amber. It definitely has a lot of that like reddish kind of coloration to the amber, that reddish glow. And this is just a huge piece of amber. Um, and you can see how nicely it's set open in the back to allow the light to come through it. Beautiful, almost like Art Nouveau inspired 
setting details here. It looks like lilies and it's all very fluid and, and um, free form looking. I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. I don't remember if I got this 50% off or if it was full price. <laughs> I think it might have been half price. So it was marked for $4.99 or $2.50. I I find these things, I have to pinch myself. I, I just, I can't even believe that these things are in the thrift stores. And this is why I can't stop going, you guys. <laughs> I, You know, you that's what keeps you going. Like you find this treasure and then you go, like, wow, if I found that last time, what am I going to find this time? So you go back. So this definitely, I would say, was one of the highlights of what I picked up during this thrift trip for sure. This gorgeous, huge, like cherry color, cherry honey, ambered colored pendant right there. So that's beautiful. I was really, really, really excited by that. I picked up, this was a little bit different. This was in the, um, in the half off basket as well and this is kind of like a little bit of like a steampunk inspired bird and clock pin brooch so really quite sizable and it's got this red metal and this one was i think this one was two dollars and fifty cents and it was signed on the back i was not familiar with this um designer this is um cap capo blanco now you can see right there on the back. I like it has these like exposed rivets too. Like I said, it's very kind of like steampunk. Um, I looked it up. Apparently this is a designer in New York City and, and this is very much like their style. So they do do these kind of handmade steampunk inspired types of pins and brooches. I also like that it had like little crystals in it. I just picked it up. I'm like, this is cool piece. I think it's super unique. I was into it and so, uh, you know, like I said, I grabbed this guy just because I thought it was a good looking piece and I also liked that it was signed. So I'm excited that I found that I was able to locate the designer and, and just, you know, learn more about them and what they're all about. So that was that was cool and, and very unexpected because like, you know, I'm here in New Orleans so, you know, to find stuff by a designer in New York. Um, you know, even the south of France, uh, the little pin from the south of France, you know, these are things I just don't expect to find in the Argentinian, um, you know, keychain. We're like going around the world here. Just taking a sip of my coffee, you guys. Um, okay, so this one, again, this, I'm not, I'm not really sure why I bought this one. I just, I guess I just liked it. It's like super flashy, shiny gold tone with these flowers and it has this big, um, you know, citrine, honey citrine, faux rhinestone, emerald cut, kind of like in the center. It's very lightweight. I don't know what I paid for this. The sticker fell off, but I, I don't know, just kind of thought it was like a good looking pin and, um, you know, nice. And it, I think it was probably very inexpensive too. So I grabbed that guy. Then I purchased this pair of sterling silver and pearl earrings. Uh, these guys marked $3.99 and I thought that these had a very interesting look to them. Uh, this like textured sterling silver, again, kind of like remind me of like a seashell, very organic looking. Um, you know, one of the brands that we have down in here in um, New Orleans that's very uh, well known is Mignon Faget. So, you know, Mignon Faget, they specialize in jewelry that's very inspired by local influences like oysters, um, you know, you'll see... Uh, fleur de lis jewelry and, and jewelry inspired by oysters and so um, shells, things like that. So it, it looked kind of mignon fage to me, which I have found here locally um, a little bit here and there. Uh, and it's high end jewelry, so it's it's pretty expensive, but it's not mignon fage. But I did think it was very nice looking, sterling silver, different style of earrings. And so for $4, I picked those guys up. And of course, you all know me, I'm saving all the goodies, the best stuff for the end. Um, so this one was $4.99, it was half price, and this is just a Sarah Coventry necklace. So this is a Lariat style necklace from Sarah Coventry. I actually, I don't have this style. I have quite a bit of Sarah Coventry, I collect it. I didn't have this style. I like it because it has a, a movable component here. It's a big spring ring clasp that you can affix anywhere onto the necklace to change the style of it. So if you wanna wrap these guys like around your neck, 
If you want to wear it long, almost more like lariat style, you can do that. It's like a very versatile piece of jewelry. And yeah, you know, not the biggest kind of like resale value. Sarah Coventry at one point did have a lot more resale value. It was much more of a desirable brand in the secondary market. For whatever reason, it's softened. Sarah Coventry stuff is not pulling in that type of value that it once did. Uh, you can still find some pieces that are more valuable than others, but for, for the most part, it's it's pretty soft and it's not, um, you know, it's not gonna bring you kind of like big bucks in resale. But I happen to think it's very lovely, well-made and stylish jewelry. I like it a whole lot. Um, based, Sarah Coventry based in originally Newark, New York, which is weird to me because I think of Newark, I always think of Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> but yeah, based in Newark, New York, and it was kind of like that um, marketing model, direct to consumer, peer to peer, sales so similar to like a tupperware and so uh, the women they would call them i think fashion associates or fashion associates uh you know they would have their kits with all their samples and they would have and host the parties and sell door to door and that was really the sales model for sarah coventry um what's also cool about this is like even the like the balls at the end which are very elaborate with their end caps they're kind of like faux pearls you can remove these as well they have little spring rings on the end so like I love these like like interchangeable Sarah Coventry pieces she made earrings that were like this as well um, rings with p components you could take out and switch out she had very cool clip-on earrings that were reversible you could wear them one way or the other so I, I like love those um, interchangeable pieces designed by Sarah Coventry and so yeah this one's for me this is going into my personal collection I have a lot of also gold tone Sarah Coventry so the silver tone I, I was very into okay so saving the, the best for last, you guys, um, this was a quick video, but I did, <laughs> so I think I've told you this before, they have a wall of jewelry that's like out, like you don't have to ask permission to see it, you don't need to go behind a counter or anything, it's just out and it's on, um, it's on, um, what do you call them, like the spikes that they stick into the, you know, the pegboard, pegboard. And below the pegboard, they have a Tupperware container because everyone digs through the jewelry and it falls. <laughs> so they put this Tupper, they put this big tub Tupperware tub beneath it to catch everything as it's falling. So uh, I went into the Tupperware tub. I always searched for the Tupperware tub too, and it was pretty full this day. It looked like it was like days of accumulation. I'm digging through it. I'm digging through. It, I'm digging through it. At the bottom of the Tupperware container, I see this, and it was heavily, heavily tarnished. Um, and I'm like, okay, that looks like sterling silver. I check it on my magnet. It's sterling silver. And so I'm like, yeah, we're in a, we're, it's $2.99 or it was $1.50, whatever it was. I'm like, we're tucking that away. We're taking that. It's coming to checkout with me. So I grab it and I take it to checkout. I take it home and everything. And you know what this looks like. This looks like a David Yerman cable bracelet. I didn't grab it because I thought it was Yerman because... It rarely is Yerman. There's so many copies of David Yerman jewelry. I grabbed it because it was sterling silver. I clean the puppy up. I take my loop out. And lo and behold, on the end caps of the bracelet, it is signed David Yerman. So the, the signature DY uh, right here on the end cap of the um, of the, the stone here, which P.S. is Chalcedony is the signature DY. This guy also has some diamonds. I'm gonna put it like right here. So you can see here at the end. So I'm like, okay, I tested it for sterling silver. It is sterling silver. It is marked DY for David Yerman. I'm like looking at it, I'm like, what else does it have? I see these little sparkling stones. I did a quick research, this exact style. Yes, it is David Yerman. So then I took my diamond tester out and I tested these stones and so they did test as diamonds. So we've got all signs po pointing to yes, sterling silver, diamonds tested as diamonds, signed with the David Yerman signature on the end cap. Style does exist, currently selling on eBay for $550. So this beautiful, beautiful bracelet that I either paid $3 for or $1.54 for is worth is worth secondary market five hundred and fifty dollars David Yerman so yes super super psyched I nearly fell over when I saw the signature on it through my loop 
Uh, of course, my husband was napping, so I had no one to share it with. <laughs> I'm sharing it with you. Um, so it was really exciting. This was definitely, definitely, I think, the find of the day. So super excited, super psyched on that. Gorgeous David Yerman jewelry. I don't think I've ever found uh, David Yerman. So that's definitely a first for me. And yeah, like I said, very exciting. And so also, um, this is also very good. This was actually in the case, and this was marked $12.99. And, ooh, big, big purchase of the day, $12.99. I mean, this is a Native American uh, turquoise cluster pendant. It's huge. You can see it in my hand. It has, it is hand-set stones. It looks like unstabilized turquoise. Um, it looks hand cast based on what I'm looking at at the back here. Uh, so this is a handmade Native American piece of turquoise jewelry. And so, yes, took it home. I tested it. It tested pod positive for sterling pieces like this. Did a quick look up $350, about $250 to $350 just because of the size of it, the amount of sterling silver, the fan fact that it is hand cast. Excuse me, I needed a sip of water. <coughs> so very, very, very excited for that. Beautiful. <coughs> you know, you know me, I do love Native American jewelry. This is a huge piece. I've never personally owned anything this large. So I want to see how that looks on a, on a necklace. I think it's going to be spectacular. I'm very excited about that. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Taking another step. So this was, again, another fabulous uh, thrift store trip. Wonderful items. The David Yurman, the huge piece of amber, the Native American pendant. I love, you know, the chalcedony earrings. I love our little South of France cicada. I love this weird New York designer piece, the steampunk piece. Uh, I mean, there really isn't anything here that I dislike. I like my Sarah Coventry piece. Overall, my Florenza piece, overall just really fun, fantastic finds, wonderful value, great pieces. And so, yeah, this just con it continues to kind of like pay out for me. And so that's really exciting. So, yeah, guys, that's everything. I'm so excited. I got to share it all with you today. I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope you have a fabulous day. Give me a like on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you at the next one. Bye.